Hi, and welcome to this Cisco Mirac tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the flexible alerting capabilities on Mirac EMT sensors. As we have discussed before, Mirac EMT sensors uh, come with the basic design principles of any Mirac IT product in our product stack, right? They're very simple to deploy, requiring minimal tooling for you to set them up physically in your environment. They're managed by the same cloud-based infrastructure that has made us incredibly successful. Um, they are also seamlessly scalable. You could have thousands of sensors uh, deployed in a single Meraki organization. And they're also very, very simple to use, uh, leveraging the Meraki dashboard for things like zero-touch deployment and uh, flexible alerting and all those kinds of things. Uh, and precisely those flexible alerting capabilities are one of the uh, essential capabilities in any smart sensor solution. So Meraki empty sensors allow you to configure thresholds of, for example, top temperatures that you're willing to tolerate or that your equipment is able to tolerate. Uh, they're able to uh, let you set like humidity thresholds as well as notifications whenever a door is open to sense for intrusions and things like that. Uh, you can send all of those uh, alerts directly to an email account that you can configure directly on the dashboard, and you can also receive those via SMS. You can just put in your phone number and you will be able to receive those notifications in your smartphone. If you also have the Meraki app installed in your phone, you will be able to receive push notifications immediately as those alerting conditions uh, happen. And then if you wanted to integrate your Meraki sensors with some other messaging solution, for example, Cisco WebEx Teams uh, would be one popular option, uh, you're able to do so by leveraging our powerful APIs and webhooks. You're able to set up like a web server inside of an AWS or Azure environment, or maybe even uh, inside an, a Raspberry Pi uh, that will be listening for any of these Meraki alerts, and then it can send those over to a configured uh, WebEx Teams client, right? And that's one of the things that I'm gonna show you later. These API capabilities uh, out of the box allow us to integrate with a growing ecosystem of solutions that uh, will be able to consume the data from our sensors uh, pretty much in real time, right? For you to construct your own custom dashboards. Now we're gonna do a demo on the alerting capabilities of the sensors. And for that, I'm going to go to the Meraki dashboard first. You can see here my list of six sensors. They have each of them uh, a couple of alert profiles attached uh, that define some conditions that I'm looking to get notifications on, right? So if I go to the alert profiles tab, you'll see that I have several of those configured and they vary depending on the type of sensor that you want to alert on. For example, uh, I have an MT12 in my bathroom to detect any possible leaks uh, in, inside the bathroom. So it will send me an alert to my email account whenever water is detected by that sensor. Uh, I can also set up uh, temperature thresholds for, for my MT10s as well as humidity thresholds, and I will also get notifications for those. And I can also set up alerts for open doors that I might have around my house or around my office or something like that. So uh, the demo that we're going to do right now is going to happen with uh, an MT20, which is uh, an open closed sensor that we have over here. It has the alert profile door open attached to it, which uh, essentially describes uh, a condition of a door being open and it will send a notification via email. Uh, to my email account or also to my uh, cell phone via SMS, okay? So here I have uh, a Meraki MV12 camera looking directly at uh, the door where I have that sensor deployed. Uh, and then I'm also going to pull up my uh, iPhone screen, right? So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go, go get up and open that door and we should start to see the notifications popping up in my phone screen over here. Right now I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go open that door. Doors open. I'm gonna leave it slightly open just to show you something else. And right there, I'm getting the push notification to my app 
getting a message uh, via SMS. Um, and I'm also getting a Gmail alert from an email alert that went directly to my Gmail account. Uh, so as you can see, those uh, basic alerting capabilities are very easy to set up. You just have to do a couple of clicks and you have alerting across SMS, uh, the app, and also uh, an email account. But then the interesting part over here is that I also received a WebEx Teams notification. Uh, and that's what I was talking about, uh, about using WebEx and those kinds of things to alert uh, to external systems. So I'm gonna show you uh, over here the screen of my Raspberry Pi. My Raspberry Pi right now is running uh, a little bit of code. It's running a web server based in uh, Flask using Python. And then it's listening for any notifications from the Meraki dashboard. Whenever I get an alert from the Meraki dashboard, I look at the type of alert. If it's a sensor change detected, then I look also at the type of sensor that initiated the alert. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at, for example, an MT20 sensor that has changed to an open value, right? Uh, and if that's the case, then I go uh, over and fetch a, um, a snapshot from the nearest Meraki camera, right? Uh, if I get that snapshot, then I'm able to push that snapshot directly into my WebEx Teams client via the WebEx Teams API. Right? I also set up an additional um, workflow over here that essentially is looking at the amount of time that door remains open. If, uh, if the door remains open for uh, over 60 seconds, then I get an additional alert telling me that that particular uh, door has uh, broken its threshold for alerting, okay? So now if we go to my WebEx Teams client, we're gonna see some of those alerts that I received. For example, I have this message with its timestamp that says open door detected. Right? And I get also a uh, dashboard link pointing me to the sensor that had the alerting condition. I also get this little snapshot over here with uh, the link to the Meraki MV camera that the snapshot came from, also with its timestamp. Uh, and if you're wondering how I made these notifications, I'm using something that's called an adaptive card, uh, which is a cool specification that allows you to uh, create custom messages. Then I also get uh, a door open for too long notification, right? Telling me how long that door has been open for, uh, along with the dashboard link to that sensor for me to go check that out. Okay. As you can see, these alerts are extremely easy to set up whenever you do something, whenever you want to do something like SMS or email or push notification that's right out of the box. If you want to go a little bit further and you want to go alert into WebEx Teams or some other uh, messaging application, then you can start uh, toying around with our APIs and web hooks to send those notifications uh, in a more customized manner. Uh, and that's basically what we had for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want to go take a look at the code to get that integration with WebEx Teams uh, to work, you can follow that link to my GitHub and you can take a look at my code over there and try to set it up on your own. Thanks for your time.